What's going on everybody? Farley here with another collection update. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of everything from vinyl records to uh, a comic to some retro games to a DVD set that I just picked up. So uh, before I get started showing these, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a special uh, announcement and thank you. So hang tight for that. So let's get started real quick. Not a lot to show this update. Uh, first off, uh, I have season one, the first ten episodes of Wise Guy. Uh, this starred Ken Wall in the 80s. Also starred a very young looking Jonathan Banks. Look at that. Uh, if you remember him, I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, I can go ahead and take the wrapping off of this. But um, yeah, he uh, now stars, well, he started in Breaking Bad, now he's in uh, Better Call Saul. Which, man, I can't wait till that new season of Better Call Saul comes up. I absolutely love that show. But uh, well, I don't know if this is going to help very much. But but uh, anyway, Jonathan Banks, Ken Wall. Uh, Ken Wall stars as an uh, undercover agent for the FBI infiltrating uh, the mob. And uh, what's remarkable about this is it's Ken Wall's last TV show. I think he did maybe one or two movies. But he fell down some stairs and got injured, which pretty much ended his career. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this was a great, great show. So I'm going to end up picking up more of these uh, seasons. The final season, they replaced him with another guy. I have no interest in that. So uh, Next, got a couple of games uh, from my PS2. I've got Call of Duty, World at War, um, Final Fronts. This was a great game. I can't wait to play this again. Uh, right now, I'm stuck playing Call of Duty because I can't get enough of Call of Duty for the PlayStation. But uh, So, Call of Duty, and then uh, picked up uh, Spec Ops. This is actually a game I don't remember playing, um, but I'm a uh, first-person shooter fanatic when it comes to gaming. So, Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Live a life of danger as an elite ranger. And right, let's move to some final records real quick. I uh, finally picked up the 2017 Black and Recordings remaster of Master of Puppets. Uh, I guess it's Remaster of Puppets. Anyway, um, I've just did a vinyl rip of this, and so it's up if you want to check it out uh, and see more of the album. But... Uh, yeah, this is uh, Metallica, of course, uh, bought all the rights to the music, started their own record record label, Black and Recordings, and have been remastering all of their albums. Uh, this came out last year, and this year they did Garage Days re revisited, which I do not have yet. I do have the OG pressing of that, but I don't have the remaster, so I'm, I don't know whether to get it or not. So uh, Anyway, next, a little change of pace here. We have Bo Bonnie Prince Billy. His real name is Will Oldham. Uh, kind of like a uh, folk singer, lo-fi acoustic, uh, if you like, uh, Americana and uh, roots music, that kind of stuff. I think you would dig him. Um, I'm not going to promise you he has the most upbeat lyrics, but I absolutely love him. Uh, I love the vocal style that he has. So uh, anyway, I've also did a vital... <clears throat> Sorry, a vinyl rip of this album, which is available if you want to check him out a little bit more. All right, and then finally, I have, I didn't mean to put this in a frame yet, but uh, yeah, I already did. So this is Punisher number one from 1987. Uh, this is the number one from the ongoing series. In 86, there was a limited series that I'm actually picking up on trade paperback. But the reason why I wanted to get this one, this is actually the, not this one, I actually sold my my whole comic book collection a few years ago, which included my copy of this. And so I wanted to pick up a new one. This is uh, the comic that got me into comics back in the 80s. Like I say, I've gotten out of it, now I'm got, getting back in. So, so Punisher number one from 1987. I'm going to pick up some of the uh, 80s. Uh, other titles like uh, the War Journal and uh, maybe Warzone, but uh, my absolute favorite comic book character besides Gru, and uh, just uh, it's cool rediscovering something that I was so that was so important to me 
years ago. So anyway, so that's it on the collection update. And just real quick, uh, I went over 100 subs. Uh, I don't really care about my sub count, uh, but I do want to thank everyone who has subscribed for whatever reason, whether you're here for comics, vinyl, uh, you're here for laser discs, which I don't do enough of, um, or if you're here to you know check out the, the vinyl rips that I do. Whatever reason you come by, man, I just want to say thanks for stopping in. Um, I don't really have anyone around me that I can talk to about music or comics. Uh, a lot of the guys that were into it years ago, you know, when we were younger, have gotten out of it, you know, got married, had some kids, and so they're not interested in the records or, or comics anymore. So uh, it means a lot to me to have these different communities, Laserdisc, comics, retro gaming, uh, and vinyl that uh, where we all share this common interest. And so and sometimes those interests bleed over, which is cool. I know a lot of people that are into vinyl that are also into comics. So, um, but anyway, thank you all. And uh, like I say, feel free to comment. Uh, I'll do you know a lot of a lot of times I'll do a, a video where I give my opinion on something. I'd love to have a you know if you disagree, let me know. Just we'll keep it polite. You can always uh, have friendly debates. And so, um, but if you agree, let me know that too. So, but uh, I love having discussions with people about music and comics and laser disc and movies and everything, man. It's fun. Again, it's something I don't get enough of in my normal life, I guess you would say. But uh, as a way of saying thank you, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Amazon gift card. You don't have to do a video or anything, but you do have to watch videos. Between now and June 30th, I'm going to be giving away this gift card in three parts. So tonight, I'm going to give away the first uh, part of the Amazon gift card code. And then in another video uh, will be the second part. And then another video will be the third. Again, I'm not going to tell you which video it's going to be in. You just have to watch. Uh, I will tell you it won't be in a vinyl rip. It'll only be in an upload, like a collection update. Or if I do um, you know, a top 10 list or give my opinion or review of something, uh, it'll be hidden in those. It'll pop up as kind of like an Easter egg. So uh, I am going to tell you now the first part of the code will be right here. And so there will be two more parts to this code uh, that you'll find between now and June 30th uh, on one of my videos. Uh, again, if you are the person who completes the code and redeems the gift card, just let me know so I know that you know someone got it. And uh, yeah, just my way of saying thank you and uh, to everyone but to make it fun. So uh, anyway, just thank you to everyone. Uh, some of you I'm, I've known for years and some of you are new. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to all of you. And uh, I appreciate you. And uh, keep making awesome videos. I'll try to keep you entertained on my end. We'll go from there, all right? So thank you very much. You guys and gals, take care. Have a good night. And we'll talk to you soon. Farley out.